So now we're going to set the alarm. So if someone tries to break in through the door, the alarm is gonna go off. There we go. All right, and then you see, now if someone tries to break in, there you go, the alarm goes off. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Home Automation X channel with your host, Marianne and Cindy. And that stands for MC. That's right, we're your MCs. Mm -hmm. Now today, <laughs> We're going to be doing a review of the Schlage Smart Lock. And so that's a very good option for you if you want to shalag up on the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check it out, shall we? <laughs> now to install this door system, we've got our bolt over here that's attached with two screws, as you can see. And then we have our mounting plate that connects to our touch panel over here that's connected through these two long screws that go all the way through. Alright, now I'm just going to close the door. And now this piece, you just want to connect it to that little bit on the inside there. Just line it up. And then that just kind of snaps in place. Just like that. And then we're going to grab our screw and our screwdriver. And just start to secure that in there. Just give me one second to get this rolling. Alright. Just get that right in there and there we go so now we're going to place our batteries and they're going to go into this little slot right here just like that and this little bit will click right into it and as you can see it's flashing because it's working there we go and now we've got this last piece fancy it up just snap it into place just like that all right, I'm gonna focus on the two areas that are most utilized, which is the user code and the auto lock. To begin, we're gonna press the shaleg up here and I'm gonna put in the code. And that shows that it's working. Add one to add a code. This is the user code. Now that we've programmed it, I'm gonna try the code and we're gonna see if it works. Voila, we have liftoff. All right, now just to keep in mind, these numbers are temporary and you can delete them. All right, so you don't have to worry about anyone breaking into your house. Now let me show you how the auto lock works. So what we do is again, we press the shaleg and then I'm gonna type in our code and that's showing it's working. And the double beep shows that the auto lock is gonna work. Now the good thing about the auto lock is that it will automatically lock your door after 30 seconds. That's what makes it a shaleg up on the competition. So you don't have to worry about, oops, I forgot to lock my door. It will do it for you. It takes the think work right out of it. So now we're going to set the alarm. So if someone tries to break in through the door, the alarm is gonna go off. So what you're gonna do is just press this button. And then come around this way. We're just gonna unlock our door first. And then we're gonna lock it. All right, and then you see, now if someone tries to break in, there you go, the alarm goes off. Now we are going to install it to our SmartThings hub as part of our home automation but we would have to put the lock into the enroll mode first of all. So that would necessitate pressing the Schlage icon, then dialing that six digit user code, and then pressing zero, which will then prompt for a green check, which means lock is ready to go and we can be enrolled. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the lock app setup from your tablet, smart device, whatever you happen to have. So what you're gonna do is follow my directions, okay? So first you're gonna click on my home and you're gonna scroll down to add a thing. That's right, you're adding a thing. Okay, so what it does is it's gonna look for devices. Now you click add device manually. Once you do that, you're gonna click on locks. Once you click on the locks, it's gonna take you to a set of a whole bunch of different Schlage locks. Now you click on the Schlage one that you want, the Camelot touchscreen deadbolt. You click on connect now and it's adding it to the thing. Let's find it and change its name. Okay, so now that I've found it, I'm just going to edit that. You click on it and you click on the gear. Once you click on the gear, you have the option to unlock it. You can change it to the front door. And 
I'm just going to edit that accordingly and give it a different name. And I'm changing it to front door. That way I know where it is. So now I can click to unlock because it was showing up as locked. And right from my own device, it is doing that as I speak. It has said, it's alerted me, it's unlocked. Now you can click to lock it once again. All done right from the palm of your hand. And we're done. It's that easy. We've included links below where you can find it on Amazon. Currently it's $175 and it's a really great addition because it gives you an extra sense of security and you don't have to carry your keys around. Also it's great because you can change the codes for someone who comes to your house say infrequently like your cleaning lady. So that's a really great feature too. Now, if you want to find the Samsung SmartThings hub, for example, on Amazon, we actually have a great hub for home automation, and that's in our link below. So you can actually watch it from our SmartThings hub down below. That's right. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video. As always, it's a pleasure to put them out for you. Now, to show your appreciation, throw us some comments, some questions, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and for heaven's sakes, subscribe to our fabulous <laughs> channel here on YouTube. Also, when you subscribe, remember to click on the bell icon right next to it so you're gonna get notified when I release a new video. The Home Automation X. Thanks for watching.